Hello, welcome to Mr. Paul's Pantry. I'm Mr. Paul, and if you're new here, a very, very warm welcome. Nice to see you. I hope to see you again many times in the future. And a, warm, 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 a very warm welcome to everybody who's returning visitors. Nice to see you all back again. Now, it's very, very hot here in Spain. This is very uncomfortable in the heat, so today's video is going to be very, very short, I'm afraid. Uh, I'm, making, I'm doing it now because I had all the ingredients put together and um, I, I want to do it while I've got the ingredients fresh, okay? Now, it's a video for something called apricot fancies. They're very much like uh, uh, a Danish pastry, but there's no yeast in the recipe at all, like there is in Danish pastries. There's yeast in the pastry. There isn't with this. For this recipe, I'm using ordinary all butter puff pastry. Now, can I just have a little word about pastry? Because there's quite a lot of you out there, according to the messages I get, who are intimidated by making pastry because they've had a failure or two. There are people who can't be bothered if they live alone, which I understand, especially puff pastry. And if you like that, don't miss out on this recipe just because you don't like making pastry. Shop-bought pastry is very, very good these days. Some excellent products there. Have I ever bought shop pastry? Yes, by all means. I've made pastry for 60 odd years in my bakery and I can make it with my eyes shut. But yes, I do live alone and yes, I do occasionally buy shop-bought pastry. Don't let that put you off making any of the recipes that I put on here. Uh, I get messages saying if you don't make your own pastry, it's not really baking. Well, that's not true. You're making something that's fresh from the oven, you've made it yourself and you're going to eat it. And as long as it tastes good, that's the important thing. So I'm going to start off with uh, the pastry. I'm going to tell you about the pastry I'm using. I have actually made the pastry myself, but not today. I made it during COVID. It's been in the freezer and there's a little bit left. So I'm going to use it up today. But had that not been the case, if I was short of pastry, I certainly would have gone out about push up bought pastry when I bought the ingredients for this uh, recipe because I live alone and it's just not life's too short. Life's too short to start making especially puff pastry. OK, so I'll show you the ingredients and then we'll carry on from there. So these are my ingredients uh, and they're very simple. First of all, I'm going to use the yolk of this large egg. I'm not using the white for this. I'm using the yolk only. I've got six teaspoonfuls of demerara sugar. I've got half a teaspoon I shall be using of this canela, which is, uh, in English is um, cinnamon, ground cinnamon. I've got some homemade custard here, which I had left over from something I made yesterday. But as with the pastry, if you live alone, you just want a bit of custard, buy a little carton or a little tin. For this, that's all you need. Don't be afraid to try things. And I've, I've got some apricots. And for all you people who spend a lot of time uh, dissecting the video and not the recipe, please don't write and tell me I've only got five uh, apricots here when the recipe calls for six. I did buy six. Unpacking my shopping, I dropped one. The dog caught it before it hit the floor. And as I said, I'm not going to go out shopping for one apricot. So I'm using five apricots. You can use tinned apricots if you want. But the one thing you must be careful of is when you take them out, drain them well, and then pat them very dry with kitchen paper. I've got some hazelnuts here. Now you can use whichever nuts you want. I prefer hazelnuts. I just roughly chopped them. They're not very evenly chopped. I chopped them with a knife on a chopping board. And I roasted them gently in a dry pan. Uh, and that's it, apart from the 350 grams of puff pastry that you will need. So these are the ingredients. I'll just go through them again. A little bit of ready-made custard, whether you make it or buy it, it makes no difference. Six teaspoonfuls of demerara sugar. One large egg yolk. Six, I know there's only five there, six apricots. Half a teaspoonful of cinnamon. Um, and some toasted nuts. I'm using hazelnuts. You can use whatever nuts you wish. OK, if you've got a nut allergy, leave the nuts out. OK, doesn't matter because nice crispy top that will happen with the 
uh, demerara sugar anyway. So those are the ingredients and we'll do it. So what I've done here, I've cut my pastry into squares, I've rolled it out and it's approximately four and a half inches square. I'm talking in inches because that's what the ruler says. What I've done is I've stoned the apricots. I've mixed the egg yolk with the custard. I've mixed the cinnamon, the nuts and the sugar together. That's what I've done. We're going to first of all take the custard and I'm going to put a spoonful on each slice, like that. This probably could have been a little thicker, but it doesn't matter. Like that. And then we're going to lay half an apricot Oh, sorry, two halves of apricot on each one, like that. I've already put the custard on that, forgetting I should have had one more uh, apricot, which I haven't got, which I told you about. So I'll move that to one side. Now, just because it's very hot here today, I'm just going to dab a little water on each corner of these. Normally it wouldn't make any difference, because it, but it's drying out very quickly now with the heat. It is actually 43 here at the moment, outside. In the kitchen here with the oven on, it's about 49, I think. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take the two corners from there and stick them like that. Okay, then these two, I'm just going to stick them onto the apricot like that because the, they aren't big enough to meet in the top. Just stick them onto the apricot like that. Whoops. Pick these two corners up and meet the middle. And then those onto the apricot like that. Into the middle. And then those like that. Now, the next thing we have is a baking sheet and I need to put one of, uh, put these on the baking sheet but we need to make sure we have a space between them all so that we don't get them sticking together when they bake. Gently, lift them up with a spatula if necessary. There we are. And what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to dab a little water again. It's only because it's very hot here on the pastry a little bit. Normally this wouldn't be necessary. There we are. Normally this wouldn't be necessary, as I said. And then we're going to sprinkle some of this sugar and nuts over the top. Some will fall off, don't worry, onto the, onto the tin. We can't help that. Give them a nice coating. And this should give us a nice crunch when they come out of the oven. Now they're going into the oven now here for uh, at one, uh, sorry, at 200 degrees centigrade and they'll be in for about 15 to 20 minutes. So as soon as they're ready, I'll come back and show you what they look like. Well, here they are straight from the oven. They're looking very, very nice. Nice and crispy on the outside, crunchy on top and moist custard underneath the apricots. Uh, and I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, go underneath, give it a thumbs up 
And if you have any comments, questions or suggestions, leave them there. I do read every one. I can't guarantee to answer them all. I do as best I can with the time available. And um, if you haven't subscribed, press the subscribe button. When you do that, you'll see a little bell icon. If you click that, YouTube will tell you every time I put up a new video. So it's Mr. Paul saying bye for now, and I'll see you next time. Bye.